How's it going guys? Just a little update on the flake. Um, as you guys know, I ordered a smaller flake at four thousands. I like two of the colors, but the flake is too small. So I turned around to the same company and I ordered two of those colors and a bigger flake. They were mislabeled, so I got two of the same flake. Contacted the people I bought it from and it took a day or two to get a response, which is okay. Meanwhile, I went on eBay and I found the flake at approximately 48% off the price they were selling it at. So I contacted them with a second letter because I couldn't get them on the phone. And I got a response from the first one and it gave me an authorization number to ship these two back. Only, not these. So, okay. Then I get a second letter saying that yeah on their overstock items they like to they have a they put them out on ebay and amazon so when i clicked on the site for the flake every single flake they have is there you got a little chart you got every color you got every bottle size and every flake size so i'm like okay they're full of crap then i email them back and i say what about the shipping i paid to ship these two considering they're incorrect I'm only assuming that both of these are the same as one label. I really don't know. I just know that they're both the same color with two different labels on them for two different colors. So they could both be wrong. I really don't know. So I said, what about my original shipping, since you shipped me the wrong item, and my return shipping? So I get an email back from them today telling me that I'm responsible for my shipping here and I'm responsible to ship them back. So they filled the order wrong, and I'm responsible to pay to get it here and to get it back in there. Right? And then the words were, I can come close to quoting saying, well, if something's wrong in the store, you gotta drive back there and pay for gas. It's like, whoa, this is customer service. Meanwhile, while all this is going down, I decide I'm not gonna deal with them anymore, okay? My, my paint supplies, my main paint supplies, except for that, obviously. I go right here at the corner, it's a quarter mile away. I deal with Albert and Kempley. Uh, they're all over the place here in the Northeast. I get it all at job, so we do good. Why I didn't buy that from them, I'm not sure. That was just an error on my part, considering they sell it. So, as I'm cruising the sites, looking for the flake, I come across the base color I'm looking for in Deltron. Like, okay, they had a quarter of the Deltron base, far cheaper than I could even get it here. So, like, okay. I decided I was going to take a chance and buy it. I take it, I, you know, I take the chance, I buy it, I pay for it. The next day, I get an order confirmation from the place where I bought the flake. It's another one of their so called sites. So, they're selling their shit to many 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 sites is what they're doing it's, i guess they're trying to corner the market or is if you have a problem with them you go to another guy and um since i couldn't get them on the phone again i left them another letter telling them you know that i was dissatisfied that you just sent me an item from a non-reputable dishonest place and uh i never got a response on that one so basically that's how we stand guys place I bought this from is obviously they're very dishonest okay the place I bought the paint from is dishonest and they have a third site and you can't you don't realize any of them are linked until you make a purchase so they got the market cornered on dishonesty doesn't that suck so to make a long story short we're gonna use that intercoat carrier we're gonna use the flake that I got here I guess I'm going to use the base coat when it comes and then we're just going to move on and I'm just going to take this as an experience and you know whatever I can't even say it was eBay because it's not even through eBay and when it's not through eBay you don't have much of a chance of anything and there are places you can call but why bother so and just to set the record straight the shipping here for this and the shipping back is more than the items worth so if I got spiteful and sent them back, I'd actually be out of money. 
and they would have the product back to ship it to somebody else. So, it's the way it is, guys, you know. Some people are honest, some people aren't honest. You know, live and learn. If anybody wants to know the site I bought the stuff from, I'll gladly tell you. I have no problem helping anybody out or avoiding misery for other people. So, it's live and learn. And fortunately, I lived, I learned. It didn't cost me much money. You know, I didn't lose a ton of money, but it's it's the principle behind it. It's the principle behind it. They don't have the best customer service policies.